Hi, it's John and Mike from Brew-Dudes.com, and today we are tasting the Wurzburger Maybach that we brewed back in January. This is the capper of the entire uh, Midwest Supplies Maybach kit review that we started way back in January. If you go back to the post, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you can go back to the post and see that uh, we did videos of actually unopening up the kit that uh, came in the, uh, in the post to us and then we videotaped the brew session that happened back in January. Remember how cold it was? That was a really cold night. Mm, it was snowing a little bit. Yes, it was. And then we, I think we checked in on the lagering um, uh, period of time. And here we are in May, finally enjoying a Maybach from Midwest Supplies. Uh, what are your impressions, Michael? Well, the first thing I, I get, um, the color's like a golden straw color. It's a little bit more of an there's a little like hints of orange color in there. Yes. Uh, on top of tawny. On it's top tawny. of a straw. Mm -hmm. um, and then the interesting thing is for me, maybe just thinking about straw because the actual aroma is a little bit, not in a bad way, but straw like. Mm. Uh, so that Pilsner grainy quality that is a little um, kind of husky. Yeah. But, but not in a detracting way. It's good. Mm. Um, there's a slight fruitiness to it which I uh, attribute probably to hops yeah I don't remember if there's any late hop addition here with this but no I think it was like 15 minutes or mm -hmm. yeah uh, so maybe a li little bit of lingering aroma there but otherwise the aroma is very clean in other bottles I've tasted a lot of the, the uh, it was some tetanang and it was clear as day it was it was the tetanang uh, hop variety like that's what it tasted but then the first thing I get in tasting it is there is um, a, a sweetness, a subtle but pronounced sweetness yeah. to it, which um, is not necessarily, I think it's recipe based, not necessarily fermentation based. So yeah. um, it's certainly not, not that those tetanang hops coming through. It's, uh, yeah, there's that the difference between maltiness and sweetness, and this yeah. is, I'm getting a lot of sweetness. It's just a this. slight candy sweetness, mm -hmm. you know. It's not unpleasant. I don't know if it fits into the my Yeah, I think this kit came with. Um, some kind of crystal or caramel uh, malt, um, probably to, to help the color, but it also adds some sweetness that you're probably detecting as well. Yeah. So, I mean, it, overall, this the, the whole kit um, experience was was great. I love the the professional looking box that it came in. Loved opening it up, and it was all there. The it's like Christmas. It's like Christmas, and the instructions were easy to follow during brew day. That was really great. Um, and if you're set up to uh, lager and, and brew lagers, I think this is an easy kit to do and it's a good introduction to the lager style. The only things that I would uh, put forth to, to improve this kit, um, one, I, I'd, I'd do away with that crystal malt. I don't think that, just personally, I don't think that has a fit in a German style. Um, and the other thing is, uh, I think the yeast strain that was supplied in the kit was uh, White Labs. Uh, WLP 830, which is their German lager strain. Uh, I, I I would rather do the box strain because I have brewed with that before, and I think uh, it makes it, it brings out that maltiness of uh, absolutely of the grain. Um, so because you've brewed my box once before in yep. the past, right? Yep. And built a recipe more, out myself. Yeah, a little more crisper and um, but still malty yep. than than this. Yep. So that's really it for the uh, the whole. Midwest, uh, the Wurzburger Maybach review. Um, makes a great beer. I really want to thank uh, Midwest Supplies for sending us the kit to, to check out. And, uh, you know, keep brewing on. Uh, we'll enjoy this beer. Brew on.